as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming. Maranatha, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. The Last Judgment I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their work. Revelation 20, verse 12. Now Christ again appears to the view of his enemies. Far above the city, upon a foundation of burnished gold, is a throne, high and lifted up. Upon this throne sits the Son of God, and around him are the subjects of his kingdom. The power and majesty of Christ no language can describe, no pen portray. The glory of the Eternal Father is enshrouding his Son. The brightness of his presence fills the city of God and flows out beyond the gates, flooding the whole earth with its radiance. Nearest the throne are those who were once zealous in the cause of Satan, but who, plucked as brands from the burning, have followed their Saviour with deep, intense devotion Next are those who perfected Christian characters in the midst of falsehood and infidelity. Those who honour the law of God when the Christian world declared it void. And the millions of all ages who were martyred for their faith. And beyond is the great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Revelation 7 verse 9 The redeemed raise a song of praise that echoes and re-echoes through the vaults of heaven. Salvation to our God which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. Verse 10 An angel and seraph unite their voices in adoration. In the presence of the assembled inhabitants of earth and heaven, the final coronation of the Son of God takes place, and now, invested with supreme majesty and power, the King of Kings pronounces sentence upon the rebels against his government and executes justice upon those who have transgressed his law and oppress his people. As soon as the books of record are open and the eye of Jesus looks upon the wicked, they are conscious of every sin which they have ever committed.